Hi Locus and welcome back to my channel and thank you so much for being here. Today I'm going to teach you how to get the perfect skin that looks barely there and it's kind of my makeup artist secret. So before we get started, hit the subscribe button, share this video with somebody you think might like it, and let's do it. So if you've been following me for a long time, you know that I had a very long career, about 16 years and plus more, but most of the 16 years was a celebrity-based makeup artist where I specialized in red carpet, event, and editorial, like a magazine for celebrities. So all of that makeup consisted of really, usually on, the, on the, the main basis, usually a very fresh skin. They didn't want the foundation to look like foundation, and they wanted the skin to look like skin but better. So I'm going to share all my makeup artist tips with you to get that perfect canvas. And I like it to call, I call this like a bare skin look. Okay, so let's do it. Yes, I borrowed my daughter's headband. <laughs> okay, so whenever you start as a makeup artist, and also this is how you're going to start when you do this technique, you want a very hydrated skin. So for me, I have everything on that I normally have on. My skin is very hydrated. It's ready to rock and roll. In my time as a makeup artist, now of course I was around when primers were like the thing, and obviously they still are, we didn't use primers. So that's why on my channel you rarely see me using makeup primers. It's just not how I was taught, and it's just not how how I do makeup. Okay, so when we're talking about barely there skin, you want to focus a lot of the product more in the middle of the face. You want to leave the perimeters of the skin bare. Reason being is because for the most part, and again we're speaking in generalities here, that is where we have less imperfections and we don't need as much coverage. For this look, we are going to actually use no foundation, but we are going to use concealer. You're going to need a concealer that is your skin tone and a concealer that is just slightly a little bit lighter. And so for me, I am using Born This Way. I am using Born This Way Ethereal Light and Pecan. And I think I'm going to either do the new Radiant Concealer by Charlotte Tilbury in number uh, four fair or my standard one, which is the Lawless Concealer. I'll put it in the description box. It's way too small for me to read. I'm getting, I'm literally going to the eye doctor in like a couple weeks. <laughs> okay, so when you start this look, you want to focus most of the coverage, like I said, in the center of the face. And you can actually be very messy with it. But you also, this is my standard brush. This is the Angie's Hot and Flashy uh, brush by BK Beauty 506. Lawless makes one just like it as well. So when we do this, I'm gonna be really messy about it. We're gonna focus a lot of the product and I'm gonna do one side first, kind of show you the difference and show you how it, I make it look like there is very little product on the skin. Hydration is key here, you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna start in the middle of the face. We're gonna not do the under eyes just yet. Okay. And then I'm gonna go over my redness. So this is where I have a little bit of uh, redness and texture. And so I'm going to add my concealer right over those areas and just a touch here in the center of my face. That's basically it. Now what you wanna do is I'm gonna take the new e.l.f. Halo Glow Liquid Filter and I'm gonna pop it right here on my skin and right here and just a touch down the nose. Now what you wanna do is you either wanna take your brush or you wanna take your sponge and I am going to take an e.l.f. complexion brush and I'm going to blend out the filter first. Just make sure that's there. And you can see that I am letting the concealer sit. When you let concealer sit, it actually thickens up a little bit and gives you more coverage. Okay, so we got the glow going on. Now I'm going to take my brush and I, so right here I want a little more coverage, so I'm going to let that sit a little bit longer. I am going to cover up any redness right here next to my nose. I'm going to bring whatever's left on the brush on top of my nose. And I'm just going to blend it, not completely under the eye, but just blend it above the lip. And this is, again, I'm not adding any more product. I'm just using what is left on the brush. And then I'll blend this in. Look at already looking so much more flawless. I'll get up real close. You can barely see this on my skin. And then I'm just going to blend this in. And then if I want just a little more coverage in these areas, I'm going to use a tapping motion. 
and press that in. You can also use your finger a little bit if you would like, but sometimes that removes a little product, so I like to just go in with a detailed brush. And actually, this is how I've been doing my skin. Each time you guys say, oh my gosh, your skin is so great. What foundation are you using? This is the technique. And actually, these are the products. <laughs> um, I just see a little redness coming through right here, so I'm just gonna go in and detail this a little bit more. And I'm gonna let that sit for a few more moments. Now we're gonna go in with some concealer. I think the Charlotte Tilbury one's gonna be a little too dark. I'm gonna go with my Lawless one. And then what you're gonna do with your concealer is you're just gonna do a little dot right here, a little dot right here. That is it. Take the same brush that you just used, start on the outside of your eye. And if you don't wanna use a separate concealer for this, you can just do the same, you can just bring that first concealer all the way up to the eye, no problem. But for me personally, I like to have a little bit more light through here. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in a straight line out to the temple, and you can see how that kind of lifts that area up. And then I'm gonna blend this downwards a little bit and into the corner of my eye. Take my finger, blend that out, and just really make sure that this is nice and blended. And then whatever's left on the brush, you just kind of do these little patting technique motions and then these two blend together. You're just, just tapping, 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 blending that last bit of concealer out. Now, when I'm blending this out, I'm not gonna wipe. I wanna tap because I want a little more coverage in this area. So I'm gonna sit here and tap for kind of a minute. Flawless, bare their skin, skin that looks like not real skin takes a minute and it takes some time to really perfect it. But once you get it, oh, it feels so good. I want you to see the difference between the two sides. Still has glow, but really just looks like my skin. I'm using some of the similar products I have been in several tutorials because if you go out and purchase them because they're a little higher priced, you can continue to use them over and over again and I like to show you how. So I'm using the um, Westman Atelier bronzer and we're just gonna ever so slightly, and I like to use a cream product for this look because it does look like skin and it melts into the skin. You can of course use you know, uh, powder products for this as well. For my face shape, I'm just gonna make little dots like this. A few dots right here. And then you're gonna wanna take whatever brush or sponge you used for your foundation. I like to start down here because I want this to be less noticeable so we don't want it to sit and then bring whatever else you have on your brush down your neck. This should be barely there. This I'm gonna blend up into the temples, into the hairline, and there we go. That is a really beautiful bronzer application. Petal, Baby Cheeks, Westman Atelier. Again, pick your favorite. There are so many out there. Uh, Wet n Wild makes a beautiful one. CoverGirl makes a beautiful one. NYX makes a beautiful one all cream products they have. I'm starting up a little bit higher. Take that same brush and I'm going to blend it back into my hairline, into the bronzer. Just be careful, you wanna leave this part a little bit clear of product. And then I'm gonna bring whatever's left onto the apple of my cheek. And there you go. This is the very classic bronzer cream blush application that is going to look beautiful, especially on camera and also too in um, photos because it's gonna bounce off that cream. There would be some instances where I might set this with a little bit of powder blush, but if I was there with them all day, I can touch this up and it's much easier to touch up a cream without a powder on top of it, I'll tell you that. All right, so then as you know, many of you guys know, my secret weapon to finishing off this look is going to be a finishing powder. You're gonna notice that I don't use a setting powder. You can of course use a setting powder, especially down the center of the face if you would like. I personally do not. With my clients, there'd be a time where I would and there would be a time where I wouldn't. It just is like kind of situational and by the day. It just, there's no rhyme or reason to it. It's just kind of how the skin was looking and reacting that day, what season we were in. Right now, I live in Colorado. I, it's, it's literally winter, it's 30 degrees right now and my makeup is not going to sweat off. So I can leave it like this. I'm gonna take a flat BK Beauty 113 brush. You can also do this on a dry sponge as well. 
I'm just going to go into my old school hourglass powders, pick your favorite finishing powder, and I'm just going to tap into here and a little bit into this one. They still sell this. I'll link everything in the description box. And I'm going to press. You can, of course, use a powder puff, which I had been known to do when I did makeup, press it into the skin. And look how it just blurs that and makes it look like it, everything blends and meshes together. I sometimes will do a little on the forehead, do this right down here. This isn't really setting it. I mean, it is because it's a little bit of a powder, but we're just kind of finishing it. It feels weightless on the skin and it just looks like skin. I'll get in real close here. Looks like skin, feels like skin. All right, so everything is on. I just wanted to complete the look for you guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you guys so much for your interest in this look. I love it. It's one of my favorites. Let me know if you recreate it. Tag me on social media, and I'll see you in the next one. Lots of love from me to you. Bye, loves.